Hi guys, it's me Marie. Today I have, I'm working uh, on a quilt and I thought why not show you how I make this block. This block uh, is called the nine patch of the disappearing nine patch because it has nine squares and every square is five inches. Uh, you can of course do it with whatever um, size square you want as long that they are all the same size. So the first thing um, you have to have, well you don't have to have a background fabric but you can see it better if you have a back, uh, background fabric. You can also use like all lights for the background and the other ones for um, <clears throat> the other ones. Um, thing to keep in mind is that the squares that are at the corners those are not going to get cut so if you have like you know like you have this beautiful uh, fussy cuts or that you really want to display um, it's better to put them to the outside and keep in mind when you have like I have here uh, horses they are of course they have a uh, directional you know they're directional because I don't want them to be upside down or sideways in my quilt so I just keep in mind that whatever you are going to um, move uh, so like well, you, you understand in a little while, but <clears throat> I just put them here because I wanna, after cutting, I want to move these two sides. So let's get started. So the first thing, of course, is just like you normally do um, in a row. So I'll just take them like that. This is my first row. And this is for the second part. So I'll. So I am at my sewing machine, and yes, it's with my iPhone. So I hope I can use this. Okay, so I have the regular stitch length in my machine is um, 2.5 quarter inch. But we are going to sew. And chain piece. <clears throat> and I'm a bit sick, so. the thread and I just open them up oh something happened here all right let's pull it open them up and just go on again Thank you. 
Okay, so that's sewn. Like that, so it's the same way it was before. Okay, so now because I chain piece, I have this um, thread here, so I know that I don't know just to to know the places. Uh, I'm gonna iron this, and what you have to do when you have patch like this to bump them real good when you are sewing. You need to mind the way you are going to iron this. So what I do is I iron the these two parts to the outside and this part to the inside. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you how to um, match the points. So there. Um, to match the points, what you have to do is, it's really easy, you can pin, I don't pin, but I mean, if you do it right, you don't have to pin. Uh, let's go in here and let's get zoom in, I hope you can see it. Um, you see, this, um, the quarter inch here goes this way. You go this way, you see, and then you have to just bump this part with this part, bump it, see, and if you sew it like that, you're gonna have a perfect point. So, I hope you got that. So, I'm gonna do that and be right back. So, let's do that. Bump. And stiletto helps a lot just to hold it in place. There you go. See? Perfect. Okay. So let's do the other one. <clears throat> Four points. I think the first ones were perfect. And the other two, see, it's a tiny bit off, but I will not take it off. I mean, sometimes you just have to let it go. Um, if it's bigger, you can also just rip some, uh, about 10 uh, stitches or so, and put it back on. And sew it again but I mean so my mat has these thicker lines and that's gonna help me to find the middle so middle of my block of course is here so I just eyeball it a little bit first and of course because everything is five inches and everything is real square up they come here to points so I know that that is really the center Okay, <clears throat> so then I go get this in the middle, and yes, we are gonna cut it. Hold it good, cut, and then be careful and just rotate to the same middle.
bomb that precisely where it was. <coughs> All right, and we go and do that again. So, and cut there. Okay, so now the fun is to um, go all around you can just I don't know do um, that but you know you can do that <coughs> but what I'm going to do is the big ones here and the small ones in the middle and because I have these two horses that I want to go this way and you know if you see right here is something upside down but because it's not that clear it doesn't bother me but if that bothers you then maybe you could just do this and that will be good too only your flowers are upside down so it's just whatever you like. I think I am going to just leave the flowers the way they're supposed to. Even though they they seem like they're like that. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe they are like going down. And this is the good way so I'm just gonna leave it I mean this is this is just fun I mean like that and then you just go ahead and do the same thing so these two and then you match again the center and you're good so and that's the block finish so I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learn something new. I am enjoying this a lot. I am making this friendship quilt because this is all fabric that my friends have um, sent to me and see how beautiful that looks. Let me just put the half of it like that. So you can see the whole, you know, how it's going to look. It's just awesome, right? And of course, if you don't have another, like the background is something different than all the others, of course, it's going to be very scrappy and even though this is scrappy because they are all different colors but you can do a lot you can just have one color and make you know that you see secondary patterns going on you can just play around with the settings and do lots of beautiful things so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time love you guys bye bye